Watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black and uh, home prices uh, always in the forefront of people's minds here in the Bay Area and that Case Shiller index come out. What do you think about what's happening with home prices? Slowing. Okay. Which is a good thing. A lot of you and I, we have friends that have want to get into the housing market, but they haven't been able to, whether it's getting enough for the deposit ready and or just the processing or being outbid. So a little bit of froth is coming off. We've seen a couple months in a row of declining appreciation. Keep in mind, San Francisco Bay Area up 25.5% year over year. Um, Las Vegas up huge as well. Uh, be careful with any, you know, momentum when you're taking on six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars in debt. But um, this is good for the people who haven't gotten in. Now, for those of us who are in the housing market, let it go up to a trillion. As long <laughs> as someone could afford to buy it for a trillion from me, which is obviously silly. All right, but right now you're not worried about a housing bubble again, are you? I'm not. Okay, good. Uh, the breakfast wars heating up at yep. fast food restaurants. A Taco Bell with a big breakfast menu coming. A winner or a loser? For whom the breakfast bell rings, it's Taco <laughs> Bell this morning. People actually go out of their way to make pilgrimages to Taco Bell. I don't know who these people are. I'm one of them. But Mark is one of them. Um, Taco Bell is looking for a piece of that $50 billion breakfast um, market. Uh, if they can get $700 million, that would be sweet. Uh, McDonald's has about 20% of it. Here's the waffle taco. Look at that. Mm. You can hold it with one hand. Who does that appeal to? Drivers. Well, one-handed pirates, of course. <laughs> but on top of that, people who want to use their cell phone or drive. Um, the millennials. So um, they're trying to get people in. The AM Crunch Wrap is out there as well. Uh, the Cinnabon Delight, which just sounds like a heart attack waiting to happen. It's Cinnabon frosting coated with sugar inside of a poppable pastry. I like the story. It's Yum Brands, um, international story. But again, entering new markets, I personally want to see Chipotle get into the breakfast market because they're healthy, organic, and sustainable. Yeah. Um, and that's where the millennials will go. I'm not sure they're going to go for the one-handed taco, but mm. maybe. I've been burned by those Cinnabon poppers. The, uh, the cream inside is very hot. Be careful. The question is, was it your wife throwing them at you? <laughs> no, she was not. I was there actually eating them myself. Thank you. Uh, this is a scary survey, actually. One in three Americans aren't saving any money? At all. Wow. And that's down, again, that says 66% are, yeah, which is good. Um, but again, it's people who have incomes over 50,000 are saving more than people with incomes under 50,000. Same thing with emergency funds. Let me give you the financial expert tone here. Everyone needs to be saving 10 to 15% of their paycheck. If you're not, you're going to underperform in retirement. What I mean by that, there's a likelihood that you're going to be living in a trailer and you're going to be saying, wow, the Social Security is not making ends meet. Uh, who am I to blame? You. Um, you have to save 10 to 15% before you do anything like get a Cinnabon popper at Taco Bell. All right, we have a question from Brandon. Brandon's asking about Zulily. Their stock up 40% today. What's going on? 100% year-over-year revenue growth. This is a flash site, which actually lives up to the billing as being attractive. Um, check it out. It's Z-U-L-I-L-Y. -L -L you can sign up. It's pretty quick and easy. Unlike other flash sites where they're selling you like a one-arm T-shirt, this is they're selling good stuff at 60 to 70% off. Sale starts at 6 a.m. It's pretty much so over by 9 a.m. Limited inventory coming from boutiques. You're getting Carter. Um, you're getting um, Lego. You're getting Disney brands. You're getting Stride Right brands. So you're not getting the off-market brands. Um, they are in Seattle, um, Starbucks in Seattle, Amazon in Seattle. They all seem to get this commerce retail relationship. Plus, Zulily's got a lot of um, uh, maternity clothes. They've got lingerie, which they seem to be doing really, really well at selling lingerie online, which, again, a lot of people don't think about it. But mall traffic is in a secular decline. Online click with a mouse is going up. Zulily looks very interesting for the speculative investor. Mm, thank you, Rob. And if you have a question for Rob, post it on his Facebook fan page, and we'll answer it here on Chrome 4.